actionfigureresource.com. Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures. What's up, guys, and welcome to another edition of Action Figure Resource. James Bond Action Man, Hasbro 1993 to 2006. Hasbro released a limited edition run of six James Bond Action Man figures based on Thunderball, You Only Live Twice, The Spy Who Loved Me, Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, and The World's Not Enough. These six figures have proved to be of little interest to most collectors and fans due to their poor quality. They were made with heavy bodies and small feet, making them extremely difficult to stand on their own, with hard plastic, accessories, and heads out of scale and what little articulation there was had little range. Because of this, they can be picked up for around $30 to $40 each, but be careful because some dealers are trying to get up to $8 for these which is vastly overpriced. James Bond Exclusive Premiere 1997 to 1998 between 1997 and 1998, Exclusive Premier released a range of 6-inch James Bond action figures, James Bond, Elliot Cover, and y Lin, which were packaged in tube-style window boxes. Despite being fairly well made and produced, they don't seem to be much in demand and currently sell for as little as $10 each, but I have also seen some selling upwards of $100, so be patient if you see any listed at a high price. I would say that around the $25 to $30 range would be the highest I would generally go depending on the condition. The second line of figures released by Exclusive Premier was a set of three Toys R Us exclusives in 1998 based on the Dr. No movie. James Bond, Honey Rider and Dr. No of course. Again, these seem to be fairly reasonably priced and easy to pick up for as little as $10 to $40 with the Honey Rider and Dr. No seemingly the more expensive of the three. Maybe these were short packed compared to the James Bond figure? Maybe. The third line was also an exclusive release, this time as a previews exclusive of six figures in two separate releases. This time, however, the figures featured the Bond girls from several of the movies. The first series, released in 1998, consisted of Percy Galore and Jill Masterton from The Golden Finger and Tracy Draco from On Her Majesty's Secret Service. The second series, also released in 1998, features Xenia Onatop from The Golden Eye, another version of Honey Rider from Dr. No, and Solitaire from Leave and Let Die. This line seems to sell for slightly better prices than the previous releases, starting at around $25 and going up for about $50. There are also two carded figures that were available on general release. Anya Anasova from The Spy Who Loved Me and Goldfinger from Goldfinger. These two are probably the least expensive of all the premium exclusive action figures fetching around $10 to $20 each at current market prices. And that's it for this episode guys. For more guides, videos and action figure content, please visit actionfigureresource.com. Please like, subscribe, and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. ActionFigureResource.com Yesterday's Toys, Today's Treasures.